Understanding Same Wavelength, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, same wavelength. This phrase is commonly used in everyday conversations, and understanding its meaning can greatly enhance your English communication skills. So, let's dive in and find out what it means to be on the same wavelength with someone. The phrase, same wavelength, originates from the science of physics, specifically referring to the length of radio waves or light waves. In everyday English, however, it's used metaphorically to describe a situation where two or more people think alike or understand each other well. When you're on the same wavelength with someone, it means you share similar thoughts, opinions, or attitudes. This phrase highlights a harmonious understanding and agreement between people. It's important to know how to use this phrase correctly in a conversation. Here are some examples. I'm so glad we're on the same wavelength about the project's direction. Whenever we discuss movies, I feel like we're on the same wavelength. In these examples, the phrase is used to express a mutual understanding or agreement. Notice that it's often paired with the verb, to be, are, im, is, in the structure. Be on the same wavelength. One common mistake learners make is using the phrase in the wrong context. Remember, same wavelength is about mutual understanding, not just agreement. For instance, saying, we're on the same wavelength, so we chose the same color, is incorrect because the phrase implies a deeper understanding, not just a coincidence. English is rich with variations, and this phrase is no exception. You might hear, we're on the same page, we think alike. These phrases convey a similar meaning and are often used interchangeably with, same wavelength. And that's a wrap on, same wavelength. I hope this video has helped you understand this interesting English phrase and how to use it correctly in your conversations. Remember, language learning is all about practice, so try using, same wavelength, in your next English conversation. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.